Hi everyone. Today's our topic is moisture retaining agents in food industry, especially in the seafood industry, shrimp processing industry. Part two. In this part two video, comprises scientific techniques of soaking methods. The first component and the second component is what is what are the levels of sodium or salts or some phosphorus and moisture contents in the shrimps. And the third component is what is the proximate composition of proteins in shrimp meat. Those who have not watched in my part one video, I have given link below. Please watch my previous video. And who have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you. If the solution temperature is zero degree centigrade, what will happen, you know? So the shrimp meat started forming the crystals. The shrimp meat starts formation of big ice crystals if the temperature of the solution is 0 degree or sub 0 degree centigrade. Because in the solution we are adding the salt also, no? automatically sometimes it may reach minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.6, minus 0 0.7 like that it will, it will also go sub 0 temperatures. So if the material, if the solution goes to sub 0 temperature, the shrimp's meat the cells in the shrimp meat forms big ice crystals because what will happen this this slow freezing will occur if the temperature solution temperature is sub zero slow freezing will occur so that is why we always maintain two to four degrees centigrade and the soak out temperature once you soak out soak out optimum time soaking time should be the 110 minutes to 120 minutes is the optimum time and favorable time and the chemical concentration also 3% of the chemical and 2% of the salt will give us optimum results. If initially, see if, if for example it's a PD or PDTO or easy peel, so the hesitation time and intermittent breaks, and then again hesitation time, you have to plan like that. For example, if, if easy peel or PDTO, we must be very cautious about the hesitation time because the, the shell will get peel off or the tail will get broken. Very sensitive, very delicate material, shrimp industry. So we must be very cautious. And the RPM, rotation per minute, the agitator RPM also plays the important role while gain and while damage the texture and broken pieces also will occur. We must be very cautious about those things. And how much time is to be agitated? For example, first 30 minutes, start hesitation and 30 minutes idle break and again 15 minutes hesitation 15 minutes break again 15 minutes hesitation and 15 minutes idle so overall in 120 minutes one hour hesitation and one hour idle time is advisable to get the optimum weight gain in shrimp industries and after so out the temperature might be plus 6 degrees centigrade to plus 7 degrees centigrade or uh, like that is more more advisable when you soak out when the soak out the temperature might be like that then we will get the more weight gain yes that is what the advisable temperature might be the six seven degrees centigrade yeah and we have to check the count and weight also we have to do that so to get the optimum yielding in soaking the factors are water hardness and proper preparation of the chemicals in a sequence or in an order and RPM of the agitator and stirring time as well as agitation time and solution ratios and temperature. These are all the key factors to get the optimum yield in soaking. And one important thing I have to discuss is the approximate composition of the shrimps. Shrimps contains what? How these phosphates will react with the shrimps meat? See, the phosphates are non-phosphates which will uh, rejuvenate, which will, which will enhance the water binding capacity in shrimps. How? The shrimps, naturally the shrimps contains phosphates, phosphorus and naturally the shrimps also contains a sodium level also. Naturally the shrimps contains 100 to 250 mg for 100 grams of the shrimp meat the sodium levels the shrimp piece contains under to 200 uh, milligrams per 100 gram the shrimps if when you treat the shrimps with phosphates or non-phosphates these sodium levels further increase 
further addition of 200 or something 300 then finally after so code the shrimps will get the sodium content in the flesh 600 mg or 500 mg that is that is optimum that is optimum if you above the level then the taste also will become more salty it may not be advisable so the pass pit levels if you see there are lot of there are lot of guidelines there are lot of requirements there are lot of importing standards which are imposing on us why because the people aware about the phosphates and sodium content they they are they are rejecting the material which contains more sodium or which contains more phosphate that's why they're restricting us to maintain 4000 ppm of phosphates residues in the shrimps or 3005 ppm 3500 ppm or some buyers are missing us 3000 ppm of phosphate residues p2o5 in shrimps in such case we have to reduce the chemical concentration phosphate concentration 2% phosphate concentration if you maintain 1% salt then it will come down and yielding also yes ultimately you will get some uh, yielding loss compared with 3 2 percentage so depends upon the buyer requirement we have to we have to uh, increase or decrease the ratio of salt or phosphates or salt or non phosphate concentrations but 1% salt is allowable as per the as per the uh, importing countries uh, standards 1% salt means which contains 0.60% sodium 0.60% means 600 mg for 100 grams of shrimp meat the sodium should not exceed 600 mg for 100 grams of shrimp and some buyers are insisting us the salt should not exceed 70.7% uh, that means the sodium content should not exceed 400 milligrams in shrimp meat for 100 grams so like that we have to plan and naturally the shrimps contains a 76 percentage of moisture a 74 or 76 maximum 77 percentage of moisture naturally the shrimp contains when we treat with additives like phosphates and non-phosphates with salts the water retention capacity will increase and the shrimp moisture will go up to 83 84 85 86 and 87 also will come but 87 means it's over soaking if you keep the shrimps in more time or if you keep the shrimps with over soaked then the temperatures then moisture content also will increase so there is a restriction on that moisture content always we have to maintain the moisture content 83 percent or below moisture content is advisable and for dusted or breaded shrimps if when we are going to do dusted or breaded then moisture content also we have to maintain a bit low uh, 81 percent moisture or 82 percent moisture or 80 percent moisture is advisable not much salty also less moisture content is required because more means the breaded or uh, pre-dusting uh, won't get stick onto the meat of the shrimps so this is how we have to uh, 100 grams of shrimp meat contains about 20 percent of uh, proteins approximate composition so in this 20 percent are 20 grams of proteins comprises myofibrillar proteins which occupies 60 to 80 percent of the shrimp meat myofibrillar proteins are nothing but structural proteins muscle proteins and the second one is sarcoplasmic proteins which which contributes about 20 to 40 percent in insoluble state and 2 to 5 percent is fibrin proteins three kinds of proteins are three kinds of proteins are present in shrimp meat composition after death after harvest of the shrimps what will happen you know the proteins myofibrillar proteins denaturation will occur rapidly and when you kill or chill kill or when you start packing ice packing so the frigidity increases then the enzymatic activity also will increase then the shrimp stiffness will occur and denaturation of the myofibrillar proteins by losing of by depletion of phosphates when we treat the shrimps with salts and phosphates which gives which gives the shrimps like a synergetic effect and when we treat the shrimps with non phosphate and salt which will give the synergetic effect so what will happen the water binding capacity will increase the proteins will bind the water and the proteins will retain the flower bearing compounds the texture also will improve 
and cooking loss also it will reduce when you treat the shrimps with phosphate salts or non phosphate salts cooking loss will reduce and even after freezing drip loss also it will reduce there are lot of advantages and lot of benefits are there treatment of shrimps with phosphate salt or non phosphate salt in a proper manner we have to take care thank you friends for watching this video if you like this video please uh, click the bell icon and subscribe my channel for regular updates thank you